Morning, guys. So just within the last hour, we really saw things getting going here. I'll give you a look behind me here. Now, this morning, the city is focusing on the area on Madison between 8th Avenue and 9th Avenue. We do have our Arizona's family drone out here, so I'll give you a perspective from the sky. Now, there are a number of organizations that are taking part in this, and the goal here really is to get people a safe place to stay. I do have some brand new information I wanna give you because just within the last 30 minutes, minutes, I was able to catch up with the man who's in charge of the city's Office of Homeless Solutions. He says on this particular block where they're working today, there are about 14 people living here. He says as of right now, most people are accepting services. They're going to have a place to stay, stay tonight. And he says this process really began weeks ago when they started making contact with them. Now, at this point, they believe there are about 550 people still living in the zone. As you mentioned, the city is facing a court order to show it is making progress in the area, and that deadline is in July. The city was asked this morning whether or not they are confident they will be done as they move at this pace about every two to three weeks. At the pace we're going right now, it will not clear everything out by that time. We will, you know, I don't want to speak to any pending litigation at this point, but we're going to continue to go at the pace we're going about every two, three weeks with each block. We have not seen the data, the data support that this has caused any increase in homelessness anywhere else. Over the last two enhanced engagements, there was only 20 people that didn't accept services, and they relocated to other areas outside of the areas we cleaned, but there had been no big influx in any other communities. They also haven't seen anyone return to those blocks that they have previously cleared out. And once they're done here today, what they will do is they will put up signs telling people that they can't camp there and they can't stay there. So again, they're doing this kind of every two to three weeks, block by block. And the reason why they're going at this pace is to make sure they have enough shelter availability. Shelter availability is still the big concern. The city just opened up another shelter with St. Vincent de Paul, and they have more in the works because that is still one of the big issues here. So this is something we will continue to monitor and bring you updates as we get them throughout the morning. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys. Whitney, thanks very much. The governor's interagency uh, community council on homelessness and housing meets for the first time today. Governor Hobbs reestablishing the council during her first week in office. The idea here is to bring together state and local agencies and nonprofits to create lasting solutions for people who have been experiencing homelessness or are struggling to find affordable housing. The council also includes individuals who have experienced housing insecurity. The group will develop and implement a plan to address this issue, these layered issues across our state. The first meeting happening today at 1.30.